Well, the last week of the year is proving to be a record setter with some of the highest numbers we've seen during the pandemic. The number of COVID hospitalizations in Riverside County now nearing 1,400 with over 280 people in intensive care units. News Channel 3's Shelby Nelson has more on the current state of health care in Riverside County. We are right in the middle of a critical time when numbers are the highest they have ever been during the pandemic and health experts are preparing for the worst if those numbers continue to increase into January. What really is important right now is not only is the community really tired um, of adhering to all the things that the pandemic has asked of us, but our frontline health care workers and doctors are also very, very tired. Our staff are exhausted uh, and, you know, it is a little disheartening when we see what goes on out in the public. Uh, we're trying just as hard as we can to take care of people. A time when the health care system is overrun and now the aftermath of Christmas and New Year's Eve could further exacerbate the situation. I think you're going to be looking at numbers going in well into January. Even though uh, the stay at home order was issued by the governor's office, that uh, seems to have done uh, little to slow down the big jumps that we're seeing. This is a look at what Desert Care Network has dealt with in the past months. You can see the summer surge of COVID hospitalizations, but now the end of the year has surpassed that mid year peak. On Sunday, Riverside County reached another grim milestone record hospitalizations. Then on Monday, record ICU admissions. Both Eisenhower Health and Desert Care Network are constantly reviewing surge plans and in some cases postponing some surgeries. So there are several uh, same day admits that we're doing, but it's very few. And yes, most elective cases are being put off till after the holidays. This again contributes to the staffing needs. So we really uh, can't be using uh, staff in the operating room and recovery room that we could potentially repurpose for use elsewhere in the hospital. Both continue to seek outside staffing help. As the next holiday approaches, they are urging people once again to not let up and stay home. Now's not the time to catch COVID. You don't want to be the last person to catch COVID. If you're not feeling well and you're not sure, stay home. Um, go get a COVID test. Make sure that you know are, are positive for COVID and that you're out spreading it. Shelby Nelson, News Channel 3. State health officials say the stay-at-home order has helped, but not enough.